Welcome you to TQL Stadium in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Queen City playing host to one of the bigger matches in this young venue's history. It's the CONCACAF Gold Cup quarterfinal. It's the United States taking on Canada. Mike Watts on hand, a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. Second game of the day being played here at TQL Stadium and American fans have swarmed into the home of FC Cincinnati tonight with hopes of retaining the Gold Cup trophy just a little bit longer against a Canadian foe who would very much like to unseat the American powerhouse in CONCACAF and find themselves in a semi-final on Wednesday night. Here's how the U.S. got here. A draw against Jamaica with a late equalizer, but two six-nothing drubbings over St. Kitts and Nevis and Trinidad and Tobago. Meanwhile, for Canada, an early draw against Guadeloupe, followed by a nil-nil draw with Guatemala. Canada blew out Cuba four goals to two to ensure their place in the quarterfinal round. Well, this CONCACAF Gold Cup continues to serve up surprises in the group stage, but in the time that's intervened, things have become rather chalk. This USA team struggling with Jamaica at the outset, but dominating their latter opponents. Well, John Herbman and Canada strive into the stadium, fully expecting that tonight, perhaps, they can finally unseat the United States at the head of the table and take on Panama in San Diego in just three days' time. This is a Canadian team that has certain spots of utter inexperience, and yet a number of players who have both been there and done that at a very high level. After all, this is only the 14th game in a Gold Cup knockout stage that Canada has played, and they've only won six of them. The fact that they won the title in 2000 and is their most recent continental trophy in the region says a lot. It says that this Canada team has certainly arrived. After all, they were just in the Nations League finals in Las Vegas last month. But it also shows how far they have to go still. These are the games that you find out just how far along Canada is. And as they prepare to co-host the World Cup in three years' time, these are the games where they can find out whether or not they're prepared to compete at that level and what they need to do to get there. Meanwhile, for the United States, they own all the trophies in the region. And Matt Turner, a big reason why. This American defense allows one goal. They've scored the last 13. Here in Cincinnati tonight, he captains the team for the third time in his career. It's the 43rd time that the United States has played a game in the Gold Cup knockout stage. They've only lost eight of them. They've drawn five. They've won drastically more matches than Canada has ever played in this uh, tournament's latter stages. And they come off a fairly dominant performance in the CONCACAF Nations League final against this Canadian side after dominating Mexico previous to that in the semifinal. It's very difficult to imagine that the United States, given the way things have played out over the past three years, are really going to be challenged all that much in this region. But what we know about the CONCACAF Gold Cup is, while the early stages are for dreamers, the latter stages a chance to prove just how good you are. And if Canada is able to take the U.S. out of this tournament, It'll leave this side with far more questions than they entered with as they prepare to hand this program back over to Greg Berhalter out of the tutelage, B.J. Callahan, who's done a fairly magnificent job having yet to lose in his first five games as the caretaker manager. For all he knows, he may have three more games in him and a final in Los Angeles next weekend. But right now, there's only tonight. That's the case for both these sides. 
In the first 99 years of Canada soccer, they played a knockout game against the United States just twice. In the last three weeks, the Nations League final, and now tonight, two knockout games for all the marbles in the two biggest continental tournaments in CONCACAF. Onto the field at TQL Stadium. They built this venue dreaming of games just like this. The fans are ready, these players are ready. And the North American Classico is on tap. Canada, the United States in the Gold Cup quarterfinal. Lineups kick off to follow the anthems. Please rise for the national. Please remain standing for the national anthem of the United States of America. Well, oftentimes you hear the players singing. It's these fans, loud as ever. The city of Cincinnati so desperately loves their hometown team, FC Cincinnati, and they're proud as ever to welcome the United States to TQL Stadium. For just the fourth time ever, a knockout game between the US and Canada. Here's the lineup that's been assembled for BJ Callahan, the caretaker manager. Turner captains the side for just the third time in his career. Neil now the youngest American center back to ever start a knockout game. James Sands has been transcendent in this tournament. Mihailovic in his return to the national team, excellent as well. Jesus Ferreira has scored six goals in the last two games. Hat tricks against St. Kitts and Nevis and Trinidad and Tobago, flanked by Gressel and Zendejas. Our referee is Marco Ortiz. The 35-year-old has overseen four Liga Mekki finals, the 2018 CONCACAF League final. Enrique Santander is the VAR official for this game. Ricardo Montero is assistant. The Canadians prepared to take their photo. Is tonight their night? John Herdman. Sends Dane St. Clair into goal. Came into this tournament with just two international caps 
his first ever knockout game. Vittoria returns to the starting 11 at center back. Bombito has played five games in MLS. Ahmed has played 12. They'll be on the right-hand side. Poilette and Osorio Key in the midfield. And Cavallini, 19 goals in his international career, part of the Nations League squad for Canada that fell to the United States. That was a 2-0 defeat, one where Canada just never seemed to get the grip of the road. Liam Miller prepares for the moment, called for the World Cup, played against Belgium, but was not part of the Nations League Finals squad. Jesus Ferreira, is it possible to have an encore from what he's done in the last two games? Trying to stake his claim as the U.S. Striker depth chart becomes all the more convoluted with the addition of the excellent Florian Balligan. Matt Turner hypes the squad. He's got Robinson to his right. He scored the winner in the Gold Cup two years ago. Dane St. Clair features for Minnesota United here in the U.S. 26-year-old debuted in a small-time World Cup qualifier in June of 2021. He's since gone on to become a Major League Soccer All-Star in the interim and the potential heir apparent to that position. Here we go again. For the second time in 21 days, it is the United States and Canada in a knockout game. This, the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup quarterfinals. So often we'll see Canada in a back three. That is not what they submitted. All off of Moyes Bombido, who debuted for the national team here at this Gold Cup. So often a center back for Colorado Rapids. He's slated to play tonight in midfield. Busio. Oh, that caught the AR. He got smashed. This is the first time I think I've ever seen the referee point to his head about the, the member of his own crew. Christian Espinosa and Jorge Sanchez are the ARs tonight. The fourth official is O'Shane Nation, a Jamaican referee with significant experience in the center of the park. Stoppage inside two minutes. Another look. That's Miller. He just couldn't have seen that coming. It's not often you see something like this. Worth noting that the Bahamian referee assessor tonight is Diane Ferreira James. There's need for an additional fourth here. They need to press their fourth official into service tonight. All the buildup. Game comes to a screeching halt to attend to the injured assistant referee. Really infrequent. You can see the athletic training staff holding a tissue or a cloth to his face. 
certainly some blood here. in the building. You can see a number Guatemalan Guatemalan American supporters as well. Well, certainly an unexpected start here. See a member of the Canadian soccer staff saying, does he need another shirt? Because there's blood that's gotten onto the referee's apparel. What a remarkably odd circumstance. Players trying to stay warm. This is the finale of the quarterfinal round. Guatemala did fall to Jamaica earlier this evening here in Cincinnati. There were two games played in Arlington outside of Dallas last night. Mexico 2-0 over Costa Rica. And Panama a 4-0 victory over the guest nation Qatar. With a three-goal second half from Ismael Diaz. A hat trick in 10 minutes time. This venue, TQL Stadium, the remarkable building they've put together here. There's a, a stadium for the local college football program, Nippert Stadium, that you could, I suppose, call the ancestral home of the game here in the city of Cincinnati. It's where then third division side FC Cincinnati began. They smashed most every record for attendance in the USL for purchasing a place in Major League Soccer. And with it, plans for this new West End Stadium that's been filled to capacity game after game. A number of wooden spoons in a row coming into MLS. It seemed like they'd never get traction. And Chris Albright and Pat Noonan totally changed the paradigm in just two years' time. This is now the home of the leader in MLS. that you often forget. These guys are all wired up. Looks like they're trying to take the communication system off here. They brought a new shirt. They still haven't removed the, the towel away from the referee's face. It's been a five minute stoppage now. Here's another look at how it happened. It's Kamal Miller. Going with Busio. He tried to get a hand up there to deflect that. Ultimately, caromed off his face and his nose. It's a standing ovation for the referee. What a rarity that is as well. Shane Nation is taking the flag on. I hope he got his stretching in pregame. He's going to need it. So the fourth official, Shane Nation, appears poised to become the AR here. Hey, John, please, no long balls early here. Shane Nation stay in position. Of course, VAR is watching everything. It's asking an awful lot. They've called the teams one to a huddle, the other to the bench. They have not kicked the ball in six and a half minutes.
fans here in Cincinnati waited for this for quite some time. Posted some big games here, including for the senior national team. World Cup qualifying. Spare a thought for his hamstrings. Over seven and a half minutes and back to play. Hopefully all well for the injured assistant referee. Any updates, sure to pass them along. All the while, a corner for the United States and Julian Gressel off to the flag to take it. Gressel. Headers speared up toward Busio. minutes gone kind of in Cincinnati United States and Canada meeting for the second time in three weeks the last was for the Nations League Championship and CONCACAF one that the US retained in the second edition of the competition so the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup the sixth time they've ever met in this competition the US won four through one toilet Cavallini is able to get around Robinson. United States moving forward back from Mihailovic. Neal. Turner. Dewan Jones. It's one of a number of players new to this kind of occasion. Mihailovic, Jones, and Dejas, Neal, Gressel, Reynolds, none featured in a knockout game. BJ Callahan. He's done it twice. Caretaker manager whose tenure now is tied solely to the U.S. existence in this tournament. But it will be over next Sunday night no matter what. Offside flag raised. Greg Berhalter is set to return the top job of U.S. soccer. In large part, appears by the acclaim of the players themselves. Robinson. From Gianluca Busio. Turner. Jones. Away by Ali Ahmed. Ball met by Vittoria. Lorea. Cavallini. Let that bounce by. Opens the door to Ahmed to take over. Cavallini crossing for Hoyland. Pushed up field by McGraw. Push off by Jones. Lorea knocked it free. Hoyland killing toward the end line. Went down under the challenge of Jones. Kept from Lorea. Askew to Bombito. 
Hangs that over Liam Miller. Kamal Miller. Reynolds. Miles Robinson. Rara steering. Kamal Miller up to the task. Soon to be a teammate of Lionel Messi. Inner Miami. Miller lost to touch. We're now at Baseland, Switzerland. After coming up through Liverpool's system. 23-year-old born in Toronto. Jones through the legs of Ahmed. First by Moyes Bombito, St. Clair. Bombito handled by Jalen Neal. Jones trying to send Ferreira. St. Clair. Led by Ali Ahmed. Pressure building from Sands. Trudging through midfield. That's a foul, even though an Ahmed never hit the ground. down by Osorio. Swings back Miller. Whisking across out beyond Hoylet. And beyond Jones as well. Nice moment from Jonathan Osorio. Former Champions League Golden Boot winner in CONCACAF. It's five years ago now, believe it or not. Longest tenured, most experienced Toronto FC history. Neal. Osorio. In goes Busio. Reynolds. Scored a fantastic goal against St. Kitts and Nevis in the second group stage game. Hoping to tee off a 6 0 win against this side. Came through the prelims out of League C. Busio, Ferreira cutting back, levied off for Busio. Soria went sliding in, still it's Gressel. Gressel back, Busio.
James Sands. Jones. Young Zendejas. First official competition that he's played in. Committed back in March. Played for the U.S. national team. Miller. Mike Busio. Here this match flies to San Diego for a showdown on Wednesday night with Panama. Side that Canada dispatched in the Nations League semifinal. Toilet trying to hold up Neil. Mihailovic bobbing through but gave it away to Miller. Miller, Mihailovic back into the fray. Somehow Cavallini got that across. Falls to Larea. Larea shrugs off the tackle, went for goal off of Neal. Jones. Herrera, a solo sprinter. 20 minutes complete in Cincinnati. Played about 13 of them. Miller. Swung around by Busio, Kamal Miller, Osorio. Signed by Bombido. Sneaking by Reynolds. Lucas Cavallini. Flex Robinson sure is no further damage. Miller, Kamal Miller. St. Clair. edition of the Gold Cup. Both these teams have been there every single time. That is a poor corner to concede for the U.S. It's Jalen Neal, just 19 years old. He has been thrust into an enormous game. Breaks a nearly 50-year-old record for youngest center back start for the United States in a knockout stage game. Junior Hoylet, Vittoria went up for the ball, came off of Robinson. Zendejas could start it the other way. He pumps the brakes at Sands. Ooh, got the ball away. And he got all of Zach McGraw. Oh. It's unintentional, but that is a nasty collision. 
All the while, there's Turner. In fact, McGraw is able to continue. That is pretty remarkable. Canada constricting. Neil. This was a U.S. roster constructed with a combination of a handful of World Cup guys, a few from Nations League, a number that have won this tournament before. Give and go with Gressel broke down. Kamal Miller plays a dangerous square ball. That is... Brilliant from Canada. Lorea spots the run of Hoylet. Apparently stayed on side. Lorea saying he was tripped up. The referee says no. How much contact is there? It didn't look like much. If it is, I don't really see how Neil would have done much about that. Nothing. VAR did look. Canada more the ball but by a minute margin. Gressel. Oh, that's brilliant. Zendejas rips it across with Mihailovic and Ferreira nearby. Out for a corner. Vittoria the defense. What a ball from Julian Gressel to open this up. got an issue. Sandejas getting rattled around. It appears everybody's satisfied. Julian Gressel went for the near post. Ball deflects down. Ferreira's on it. Ferreira deflects away and comes out the Hoylet. Hoylet. No further than Gressel. Well, seemingly the last few games, Ferreira's found the hole. Last deflects off the flying Osorio. Sands bounced off Mihailovic, taken on by Lorea. Mihailovic the slide, right back where it came from by Jones. Up to Ferreira, awaiting support. Mihailovic. Mihailovic. Robinson, John Luca Busio, Reynolds, Ferreira, given away seeking Busio, Osorio, got tossed by Ferreira. doesn't get the whistle. Mihailovic. Juan Jones. 
Alavich practically out of the team the past year and a half. And in fact, he's turned this into a starring role at this Gold Cup. Certainly portends well that when Greg Ber Berhalter does take over the side again at the end of the summer, to minimum made him look again. Reynolds. Sands. The converging Canada can't close him down. It's Busio from Mihailovic. Galloping forward, Reynolds is wingman. Reynolds. Free kick USA, one by Sands. Julian Gressel delivers, punched away by a diving St. Clair. Busio got a piece. All settled, but Zendejas wins it back for the U.S. Mihailovic retains. Half an hour complete in the Gold Cup quarterfinal, the last of the four. Jalen Neal. Busio turns down the supporting run. The spin by Zendejas picked off and carried up by Ahmed. He's grounded by Busio. Oh, look at St. Clair. That is full extension. Turner puts it in play. Robinson looking to be direct here. St. Clair will wait back on it. Miller. St. Clair, a heavy first touch. Cavallini and down here for the U.S. Milovic turning into space, followed by Larea McGraw. Jones into the area. Jones, what a slide by Bobito. That's really good stuff from such a young player. Third overall pick out of New Hampshire, the MLS Super Draft. Spoke to his coach, Robin Frazier, said one of the most interesting center back prospects that he's ever worked with. A recognition they'll have to grow with Bombito, but they're happy to have that problem. Gressel's done a lot of good on set pieces. He could go short to Zendejas. Gressel sought Sands.
Herrera, Reynolds. Miles Robinson. Dylan Neal into Mihailovic. Jones. Banked off of Hoylet. Sands. Jones, Ahmed in the way, Mihailovic. John Herdman hard at work, moving the chess pieces in real time. Jamal Miller. St. Clair. First touch, get him on to his left foot. Really inviting of Jesus Ferreira. Turned over to Liam Miller. Osorio. Miller's there. Down shifting for Cavallini. Got busted off the ball by Sands. And wins a Canadian free kick. In a dangerous spot in the 36th minute. Junior Hoylett curling. Miller will send it right back out off the clearance by Neal. Hoylett dancing. Miller stepping over and trying to get by Mihailovic. There's Zendejas, a loose touch. Zendejas. Ferreira wins the foul. US winning two of the last three Gold Cups, 2017-2021. Last went back to back, 2005 and 2007. Canada won the trophy in 2000. Looking for their second. Did win the octagonal qualifying call themselves CONCACAF champions as a result, but it doesn't come with a trophy, regrettably. Nearly their first berth at the World Cup in some 30 years. These are pioneering players for Canada. Reynolds, Ferreira was able to slow it down. The return from Gressel. Ferreira whisking across, comes through to the other side. Zendejas pops it up toward Busio, headers away. And that is not a handball play on Reynolds. Trying to slip through Ferreira. Robinson kept it away from Cavallini. Jones allows Zendejas onto the ball. Bypassing Ahmed. Jones. 
Jones. Mihailovic. Robinson. Reynolds. Gressel. Shoot through by Busio. Good run by Bombito, but now he's been overtaken by Reynolds. Bombito really does look the part debuting here at the tournament. U.S. on goal difference over Jamaica to win Group A. The two sides drew Jamaica through to the semifinal, where they'll get a crack at Mexico. Guatemala finished second, or Canada finished second, rather, to Guatemala in Group D, housed in Guadalupe and Cuba. Canada's role here in the knockout stage really wasn't very much assured entering that final group stage game. The U.S., in theory, were in peril as well with Trinidad and Tobago. Well, they really left nothing to chance in that game. Remember, we may well see eight, nine minutes first half stoppage time given a seven and a half minute break less than two minutes in due to an injury suffered by the AR from an errant kick. So for all we know, there might be another 15 minutes in this half. Liam Miller on to Junior Hoylett. Back heel sends through Miller. There's Turner. for Jones. Cavallini, let that get by, and that is a really dangerous tackle from Cavallini. It's a yellow for now. I mean, studs exposed right into the ankle. You know he's going for the ball, but he's late. And that could have been, it may still be, a much worse injury. Looks like Sands is OK. Sands. It's Jones, the latest wing back or outside back prodigy out of the New England Revolution setup. He's been a little forward. They're seeking Busio on the second ball, but Sands streaks in for the U.S. Reynolds. Taken away by Miller, and here he goes. Reynolds in from behind. Miller didn't have any support. He tried to slow down, accept a foul. Instead, the U.S. have taken the ball away. Canada did push forward a bit there. Well, they've gotten back well.
Robinson. Tap through for the inverted Reynolds. Reynolds. Robinson. Busio, Gressel. Stopped by Kamal Miller. Ahmed. Over to Osorio, back to St. Clair. Added minutes, the end of the first half. The AR's injury lost about seven and a half minutes of game time. Finally able to play on Larea. Hand fighting with Zendejas. Larea at full speed. He ran out of real estate. Ferreira, Gressel came back, Ferreira down the line, Reynolds, it stopped, it's offside. Mm. Lean looks like it did draw him over, but it, it's certainly tight. Jean-Luc Abusio is at Venezia now. Their sport in Kansas City. Frank Berhalter, when he first came into camp, didn't really realize how good he was until he worked with him one on one. His manager in Kansas City, Peter Vermees, telling me at one point, this is a really special kid. And is he Andrea Pirlo? No, but he has some of those qualities. There goes Busio. Russell. Notably for Ferreira, who scored at such a high level. Brandon Vasquez is available. This is his home stadium. Scored in that Jamaica game. The U.S. were behind so late. All the knockout stage games in 2021, the U.S. waited until the final 10 minutes. They don't have to wait this long tonight. Off the head of Robinson. Curling out of the pack. Deal. Usurped by the ball by Cavallini. Hoylet. Hoylet crossing. Lifted over the bar by Reynolds. An enormous defensive intervention, but he nearly put it in his own goal. And the U.S. really sweating for the first time. That is a scary moment because Liam Miller is going to tap that in. And the U.S. fans see their Gold Cup lives flash in front of their eyes. Miller crossing. Ball caroms away. Vittoria scoops it up after McGraw couldn't spin it on goal. And now Zendejas out to the halfway line.
Referee is stopping play here. You wonder what's going on back in the opposite penalty area. It's causing the referee to think about this. Referees going to the monitor. VAR, a possible penalty and handball off this clearance. Take a look at the arm of Robinson outstretched. That's why McGraw's header didn't go through. Oh, goodness. Canada may well be headed to the spot with a chance to grab the lead here. Take a look at that from Robinson. He's trying to get out beyond Kamal Miller. In doing so, his arm is fully extended. On its face, this appears rather obvious. Unless you indicate that it's natural, given the lean of Kamal Miller into him, that he would be forced back like that. Here's another view. We're seeing precisely what Marco Ortiz is seeing. Watching 12 there. There's the header down. We might play legitimately a full hour in this first half. We're leaning in that direction. Mark Ortiz has seen enough. Penalty. Off the arm and make that no penalty. The, the Canadian players. What's the call? We well, have no idea what's going on. What's going on? Well, you can hear one of the coaches. They're equally confused. Well, here's another look. Here's the arm of Robinson. Clearly, Karam's off of it. And they're saying there was a, a foul before. Well, you heard one of the members of the coaching staff going, what's going on? We don't know what's going on. Those are three minutes he can't get back. Onward, I suppose. And for Canada, that's a gut punch. Can you imagine grabbing the lead at the spot right before the intermission. Ferreira will chase St. Clair. Bombito out to Cavallini. Neal swerves around. to be fair, has saved 11 of 24 penalties he's ever faced in game play. That's the guy you want. There's a good chance we're going to go blazing past the 10 minutes. Lorea, Poilet, spots the wide run. Ali Ahmed, Neil. 
Zendejas. Sands. Mihailovic. Jones. Sands. Zendejas. Lucio got pulled down by Osorio. We've gone the 10. So seven and a half of those minutes were because of the AR being drilled in the face with a ball. And now you're into the time that was tacked on because of the extended VAR review. Free kick USA. Neal comes available. Down to Ferreira. Bouncing calmly to St. Clair. A bad ball by Gressel. Not a bad play by the U.S. Ferreira wasn't able to really get a hold of that. All this space for Mihailovic. Reynolds has Canada become more compact. It's up to the referee now how much time we have remaining before halftime. Brought down by Dewan Jones. Ahead to Zendejas. Trying to dice by Ahmed. Zendejas back to his feet. He rounds the corner. Zendejas. Collides with Richie Larea. Whoa, Busio and Osorio. Tangled up. That is halftime, and tempers are rising at a rapid pace. TQL Stadium in Cincinnati. Credit to Mihailovic. He's grabbed both Ferreira and Neil by the hand and dragged him out of this. It is a clean first half for both goalkeepers. And the faster these teams get off the field, the better off everybody's gonna be. Matt Turner having words with Larea. And it's obvious we've only just begun here in Cincinnati tonight. Halftime in the 2023 CONCACAF Gold Cup quarterfinal. USA nil, Canada nil.
they've shown their teeth a bit. They go into the locker room pushing and shoving with Canada, and they're already in position as the Canadians make their way out of the tunnel in Cincinnati, Ohio, for this quarterfinal bout in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. A potential penalty, an extended VAR check, a push that occurred that led to the handball by Robinson. The U.S. let off the hook in some ways. The Canadians still seeking their breakthrough. The United States with quite the mix on their roster. A handful around the World Cup team, a handful that just won Nations League. Seeing Canada once again some of the traditional star power that you would anticipate. David and Alfonso Davies, Pulisic, McKenney. Now they aren't here for this. But it's still Canada and it's still the United States. There's always a little extra on the line. They share the same top domestic league. In some ways, this has become familiar. And yet this will feel a little different. 45 minutes to play at least here in Cincinnati. The USA and Canada scoreless out of the half. Neither team making changes at half. The city just mesmerized right now. All their sports. Their Major League Baseball team has finally turned the page, and a young core has grabbed the imagination of this city. One of the National Football League's greatest talents, Joe Burrow, resides here. The Cincinnati Bengals genuine Super Bowl contender. And FC Cincinnati has certainly arrived this year after their first postseason appearance as an MLS side last year. They're one of the teams now favored to win MLS Cup. It's hardly a surprise when the fans come out in force like this, and certainly it is a very tilted crowd. Kamal Miller rising over the top of Reynolds. The Canadians were able to open this tournament in Toronto. They're certainly uh, in a difficult place now. Ball deflects away. Jones, Mihailovic, getting by Ahmed. Mihailovic, out to Neal. Long service across. Lorea unable to take it on. The ball by Jones. Mihailovic steps in hard on Lorea. Look at the deflected shot sent by Mihailovic. Tonight, Jamaica advance past Guatemala. We'll play Mexico in Las Vegas. Amari Bell, the lone goal, came six minutes out of halftime. Zendejas went down and continues. Pitchforked ahead toward Mihailovic. Sands, Neal, room for Jones to run onto it. Dewan Jones lays through, Zendejas pursues. Has Mihailovic behind. Mihailovic to the top of the penalty area, swings it across, Busio. Yesterday, Panama, a hat trick from Ismael Diaz in the second half after the early goal from Edgar Barcenas. 
four nothing over Qatar. They await the winner of this game. Gressel. Well, Mexico got a penalty for Orbelin Pineda and got a second right near the end of the game. Past Costa Rica earned their place in paradise. Free kick to the Canucks. John Herdman has said, we signed up to pioneer their first World Cup since 86. Their first win against Mexico in 21 years. Their first Gold Cup semifinal since 2007. Their first CONCACAF final since 2000. Beating the U.S. in this tournament has never happened. Is it another pioneering moment? Flick on by Ferreira. Zendejas has arrived. He sees Mihailovic. Zendejas playing over to Gressel. Ball deflecting back and right to St. Clair. That would have needed to clear three hurdles to find Ferreira. On to Matt Turner. The Arsenal player who arrived into this U.S. team. He's one of the best in MLS with New England, but it was his starring role in World Cup qualifying and the Gold Cup two years ago caused his star to rise massively in a short amount of time. After all, at 25, you could say he was a journeyman first really getting his shot. Four years later, he solidified his place in this U.S. team. B.J. Callahan peers outward. Jones. Milovic knew it. The available Canadian substitutes look on just minutes into the half. St. Clair. Miller. Take it away, Busio for Mihailovic. Jones extending down the line, lines up Lorea. Kick USA. Julian Gressel, the newcomer to this team, now playing for Vancouver, twice a Canadian champion, the reigning MVP of the tournament. Gressel sent that where only Dane St. Clair could punch it away. Jones spots Mihailovic. Lorea into the air. Mihailovic tries to settle. Nothing more. It looked like it would have whipped out beyond the post. Alas, St. Clair showing no danger. Strong will punch. When does Cavallini get his chance, the player for Tijuana? Will he get? 
get his chance. Lorea bouncing free. Ahmed. Big crossfield switch from Bombito. Miller. Off the head of Jones, Zendejas. I'd say on the whole, this has been fairly in control for the United States. half with about 65% of the ball. Ahmed, Lorea. Bombito. Ill gotten gain on the throw. Change is imminent for Canada. throw what if I told you he was around the US Army for four years went to Army West Point a California born player Ferreira Scoreless 10 minutes into the second half. The winner plays on Wednesday night at Snapdragon Stadium. Less than one year into its existence, it'll host a Gold Cup semifinal against Panama. On the other side of the bracket, Mexico and Jamaica. Zendejas got clipped. Yellow card. McGraw. And he's one yellow away from a dishonorable discharge. Down the line for Busio. Busio searching all the way across the face of goal. Pops out the other side. Here's a look at the foul in midfield. It's Liam Frazier who started the final group stage match against Cuba. Only made one change, bringing Vittoria in. Off the head of Neil, Jones, Zendejas, now Mihailovic. Gressel back heel. Busio returns. Gressel tried to send it back. There's a foul and a yellow to Kamal Miller. So now Miller, Cavallini, and McGraw are on yellow cards for Canada. And the United States are unblemished. And what a place for a free kick for the USA. It could be Mihailovic, it could be Busio, it could be Gressel. I don't really know you can go wrong with that trio. Gressel's going to walk away from it. It appears all eyes are going to be on Gianluca Busio. Gressel from potentially taking the free kick to the unfortunate position in the wall. St. Clair satisfied with his wall. Gianluca Busio ready for this moment. Gianluca Busio off the top of the wall, caroms over for a corner.
Cavallini in the way. The corner for the U.S. Grassel offers. Didn't find Robinson. Headers away. Miller will chase. And Turner will collect for the U.S. There's Frazier waiting to enter. His moment arrives. Playing in the Belgian second division, he was a late addition to the squad due to the injury to Ustakio, the holding midfielder. That's it for Bombito. Not necessarily his first position, but he played it well tonight. Comes with at least half an hour to play. Of course, the knockout stage here at the Gold Cup does include the potential for extra time. If that's not enough, penalties. We want Brandon. Brandon Vasquez, that is. A little back heel to Ferreira. Surely he's heard it. Anderson Dejas. The run out is on for Ali Ahmed. And Neil shades over. Turner. Turned over, Ahmed. Didn't think nearly quickly enough to beat Turner. Osorio rolling. And now Robinson with the deflection and Turner is there. Providing more pressure than they have really at any point tonight. Mihailovic got tripped up. That comes with a card. That's the fourth issue tonight. This one to Jonathan Osorio. Osorio, McGraw, Cavallini, and Miller all on yellows. Here's a change. And Dejas comes off. And that's Kay Cowell who enters. It's the first change for the U.S. Cowell, a starring role in the under-20 World Cup. Two goals in the group stage there. Jones. Rea ushers it through. Neal's got to make a play on it and did. Cowell called for it. Cowell playing for San Jose. He's crossed 100 games there now. earned his 
way into this Gold Cup squad. Well, bounding over Miller. Frazier, Miller, Liam Miller. Liam Frazier. And two Liams, two Millers. Kamal and a Frazier, all in the same neck of the woods over there. Cal retreats to the ball, Lorea. Jones up the line, Mihailovic. Close quarters, U.S. can't play out. Canadian pressure on that occasion. Lorea and a good free kick for Canada 25 minutes in stoppage time to play in Cincinnati up from Junior Hoylet. Return to center by Busio. Only trying to push off from Cal. by Victoria. Ferreira chasing St. Clair. Frazier. Good step by Cowell. Bright moment here for the U.S. Cowell wasn't able to get it to Mihailovic. Neil. Call to start here, just 19 years old, over Matt Miazga, who calls this venue home in MLS. Probably raised an eyebrow or two. Will well be the future. He and Robinson getting the chance here. Busio. Gressel. Gressel bounces down backside. Mihailovic rolls to Busio. Busio. Busio now. What a save by St. Clair. He just robbed Gianluca Busio of a goal. Best chance of the night by either team. It looked like it was not gonna be. The ball deflects, but Busio, the third time's the charm. And Dane St. Clair earns his stripes in a major way. After the initial block by Ali Ahmed, Busio knows it, how close he was. And John Herdman, without his first choice goalkeeper in this tournament, pulled Milan Borian due to injury shortly before the tournament began. St. Clair rising to the occasion. Here's the available U.S. subs. Vasquez in the foreground, Morris, Attacking sub in the background. Let's see if Ali Ahmed has any chance of continuing here. The 2023 Voyagers Cup 
best young Canadian player. Vasquez just shown on the scoreboard, you can see there. And the crowd roars its approval. minutes remaining. Both these teams have made a habit of some late dramatics here in this tournament. The U.S. certainly stretches back to 2021. Cowell flying forward for the U.S. Cowell rolls that wide. When he finds that aggressive tone to his running, can see why the U.S. staff is trusting him in these vital moments despite just playing in an under-20 World Cup earlier this year. Canadians appear ready to make an adjustment here. Jason Russell roll is the likely option if they're looking to finish this in 90. Jones. Back pass left something to be desired. Finally couldn't track it down. Miles Robinson scored the tournament winner in extra time against Mexico in 2021 in Las Vegas. Crowds applauding. Makes you think the U.S. are planning a change or two. We may see an FC Cincinnati player jump into the fray. Robinson. Busio, Gressel, spotted the run of Mihailovic, didn't get it there nearly in time. So it's going to be two changes for Canada. The U.S. are preparing to make a pair as well. That's why the crowd's going insane. Osorio off, rather injured there a moment ago. So there's Russell Rowe. On for Cavallini, the young striker, just 20 years old, the MLS Next Pro Golden Boot winner. Ali Ahmed was injured a few moments ago. He comes off hobble. David Watherspoon comes in. If the crowd here in Cincinnati could will a goal from any player, it's that man right there. Brandon Vasquez helped rescue this club from mediocrity a year ago. He enters with a chance to push the United States into a continental semifinal. Jordi Mihailovic comes off. And Brandon Vasquez's moment has certainly arrived. It's both the Cincinnati players. Matt Miazga enters as well. Jalen Neal is done, the youngest starter in the knockout game in the history of the U.S. national team. Job well done on the whole. Just one or two moments that he'd probably like to have back. Ultimately, he kept the zero. Nothing else matters. You can feel the butterflies now. Ball's turned over, but it's a brief respite. Only to see it tossed away by Kamal Miller.
Cowell sprinting downfield. Cowell tried to bring it down, and St. Clair is in position, calm and confident. Watherspoon. He's late. Reynolds. Miller. Hold up play by Vasquez. Sent back to St. Clair. 15 minutes to play. U.S. and Canada on level terms. They've met in two semifinals, never a quarterfinal in this tournament. Cowell, Vasquez, Vasquez wide! And it's nearly a fairy tale. Brandon Vasquez has had an up and down year in MLS. You speak to the manager of FC Cincinnati, Pat Noonan, he'll tell you he might not get 15 goals as they announce a crowd 24,979 tonight in Cincinnati. After all, he's likely to miss some time with this Gold Cup run. Ball down the line for Reynolds. He's been without his strike pairing of Brenner sent to Italy in the summer transfer window. But he scored some goals at vital moments. He's earned his place in this national team. A vital goal against Jamaica in the group stage that ultimately served to help win the group. Robinson. Toward Vasquez, he got a piece of it. It's still alive here, ball through. Flag down for the moment, laid off. Vasquez over the bar. Offside flag did go up. Gressel, solid couple of yards offside. I haven't seen a lot of Ferreira and Vasquez together. A word of advice from Ferreira, who drops in, showing a little bit of versatility in his own right. Lorea. Toilet pushed down by Jones. Play continues. Back from Frazier. McGraw. St. Clair. He gets just a quick moment to breathe. The longer we go, the more clear it's become. It's likely only going to take one tonight. Rea gave uh, quite the glare to Vasquez, who appeared to catch that ankle for Achilles. inside the John Herdman-led huddle. He feels that this Canadian program 
Perhaps he in particular have taken far more grief than they deserve. Especially from press in their own country. What more did they really anticipate from that last World Cup? He was intimated. Ultimately, there's proof to the results that Canada have attained. They've risen to 47th in the FIFA rankings, or whatever those are worth. Reaching a continental final for the first time in 23 years. Back to the World Cup. The first time since 1986. This is the beast that he so desperately wants to slay. Russell's attempt at peace here is being waved off. That additional kick didn't make many friends. It's a prize fight, all right. The winner sees Panama in San Diego on July the 12th, Wednesday night. All forward, flicked on by Vasquez. Cowell arrives, pushed out by Larea. We're into that famed final 10 minutes. It's where the U.S. did all their damage. The final 10 in extra time, the Gold Cup in 2021. Could it be Miazga? Russell delivers. It's certainly St. Clair. The final next Sunday night in Inglewood, California, in LA. SoFi Stadium, working on hosting most every major event. North American sports calendar. What a venue, what a night that'll be. Bounces past Ferreira, further by Miller, handled by Reynolds. Sands. Reynolds kept it in. Miller touches it out. Thought about playing quickly. Take his time now. Change is coming shortly here. Canada. Busio. Gressel. Niazga. Ferreira. Jones pushed down, Larea bounced off of Gressel, not once, but twice. Canada started to commit. Miazka, Miles Robinson. St. Clair.
there's Jacob Schaffelberg. Charles Brim come on as well in a moment. St. Clair. Cowell strokes that along the end line. Touch for Jason Russell Rowe. Reynolds swerves down. And the Canadians will make their last two substitutions, pending the need for a sixth if this gets to extra time. There's Schaffelberg. Junior Hoylett hands the armband over to Vittoria. That's it for him. Liam Miller is done as well. Schaffelberg, a 23-year-old, playing at Nashville. Brim playing at Sparta Rotterdam. 24-year-old, native of France. Grew up in part in Montreal. There's Jordan Morris. Nine goals in MLS this year. Cowell. Cowell through, Busio. Busio back post for Gressel. And a foul from Julian Gressel. Come on, Miller. Smashing at the tail end of that off the head of Gressel careening into the goal. Sands just got over Gressel. Kamal Miller bounces off of Gressel. 88th minute now for the U.S. Gressel. Reynolds awaits. here could send you right to San Diego for a game on Wednesday against Panama. What a ball in behind. Header. Oh! It's incredible. It's Vasquez. It's a dream in Cincinnati. Can you believe this? in his home stadium. The magic moment for the United States. Canada can't believe it. If it was gonna be anybody tonight, from the moment he came into the game, a darting header off of Brandon Vasquez. The ball by Jones, picturesque. 
off the fingertips of St. Clair. The same as it ever was. Now Canada need a goal. Robinson. Can you believe it? Collision midfield, Osorio. Saying that's on Vasquez. Vasquez scored in the 88th minute against Jamaica. And wouldn't you know it, the 88th minute tonight, one to secure a draw. This might send the U.S. through. His third of the tournament. Plenty of time, six added minutes. We're hardly done. The referee just gestured for VAR. Oh. This didn't really appear like much in real time. Watch as it bounces up off Russell Rowe, and look at that arm from Robinson that he sticks out. This could be a complete 180. Wow. Penalty, handball. Canada to the spot with a chance to equalize and perhaps send this to extra time. It didn't look like much in real time. The Canadians were screaming for it. But there's the touch by Robinson. And while he was spared his blushes in the first half, won't happen this time. Unreal. Crowd here in Cincinnati can't believe it. Steven Vittoria in his career, 18 of 21 from the penalty spot. They're showing it up on the scoreboard now. Matt Turner in his career is sent away 11 of 24. It was Ethan Horvath who did it in Nations League finals two years ago. Turner has kept a penalty out earlier in this tournament. It was against Jamaica, denying Leon Bailey on his birthday, no less. Vittoria is clinical a penalty taker as you'll find. This is the moment for Canada. The moment for Vittoria. He scores. And Canada level with three minutes to go. From the exuberance of the hometown player scoring to put the U.S. ahead to the utter shock in this venue with Victoria's equalizer. The handball from Miles Robinson opens the door and Victoria knocks it down. 1-1. And this quarterfinal is just a matter of minutes 
away from extra time. Header away. Picked up by Russell Rowe. Vittoria. Schaffelberg back to Turner. Osorio. Canada trying to break American hearts right here, right now. Schaffelberg. Ball ushered down the line by Watherspoon. Sent into the stands. Canada's moment at this stage to try and end it. Corner, Canada, up for Vittoria, away by Miazga, further by Reynolds. Up the elevator shaft by Lorea. Header from Miazga. Out beyond Osorio. 30 seconds to try and find a winner for the U.S. off this throw. Vasquez returns over his head. And it's a matter of a kick or two. Osorio. Ball hit out to the other side. Schaffelberg. Canada can win it at the death. The ball forward, Turner. Launches the other way. Vasquez held it up. Had the support behind him. On to Busio. Cowell. Busio lifting. Vasquez header down right at St. Clair. a VAR check and a penalty in stoppage time. We went about 12 minutes in the first half due to an injury to an AR. It cost about eight. Away from Busio, the referee allowing this to play on. Jones, Vasquez, turned over, Brim. Free kick Canada. One more chance to evade the extra half hour. Down the line of Sorio. And that is the end of regulation. Brandon Vasquez in the 88th minute looked like he scored a sure winner. But Steven Vittoria steps to the penalty spot in the third minute of added time and sends us to extra time here in Cincinnati. What a wild conclusion to this quarterfinal. And there will be free soccer played here. It's about... 10-12 in the Eastern time zone where Cincinnati's based. These fans may not leave here until an hour shy of midnight. At the end of 90, with 30 to go, USA 1, Canada 1.
on the verge of elimination from the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Canada survived to fight another 30 minutes. These are the moments that Canada soccer on the men's side have been dreaming about. On the women's side, they've been around for a while. Don Herbin knows all about that. He's brought a winning culture to this Canadian team, one that a decade ago seemed fanciful at best. U.S. planning a pair of subs. Jordan Morris will replace Gressel. And Aaron Long will come on to replace Miles Robinson. So the U.S. have switched out their entire center back pairing. Robinson conceding that penalty just minutes remaining. Victoria and Turner hold the captain's armbands. We got the game we were hoping for. Competitive, gritty, First half, perhaps a tad unimaginative. But a little spicy going into the locker room. And the aftermath has been quite the conclusion. That's Scott Kennedy, the lone available extra time sub for Canada, is going to replace Zach McGraw, who was on a yellow card. Look inside the U.S. huddle. Look at the firepower they've got now. That trio, Morris, Vasquez, and Ferreira all together on the field. We'll go another 30. Seal gets us started in extra time. The U.S. in extra time, nine different occasions. Five went to shootouts. The U.S. won three of them, lost one of them. In shootouts, they won three and lost two at the Gold Cup. Only the third time, make it the fourth time, that Canada has gone to extra time. They won by golden goal in the quarterfinals against Mexico in 2000 en route to winning the title. They've gone to shootouts twice. It's Martinique in 02 and against the U.S. in the semifinals in 02. The U.S. won that shootout 21 years ago. U.S. have never fallen to Canada at the Gold Cup, 4-0-1. And this, the 40th all-time meeting between these two programs over nearly a century of history. Long. Reynolds, kind Karam, Sorio got clipped, and a good intervention 
like Victoria and the U.S. were off to the races. Rolled forward by David Waterspoon. Jones laid off by Cowell Busio. Jones. Busio came out to Cowell. Cowell on the run. Cowell leading for Ferreira, who's dropped into the 10. Taking the role vacated by Mihailovic, who came out in the second half. All slipped back by Russell Rowe, ahead to Schaffelberg. Schaffelberg, oh, Russell Rowe put it over. A dynamite run from Jason Russell Rowe. And it's Canada with the first clear cut chance of extra time. This is Cincinnati, Ohio. Gold Cup quarterfinals. The winner sees Panama on Wednesday night on the West Coast in San Diego. Another look at the effort by Russell Rowe. Snuck inside along. Reynolds. Forward from Morris, never got there. His hands pressuring, Morris joins. Kamal Miller upfield, Frazier. Floor for Sands, leading Ferreira. Ferreira crossing, wrong side and Cowell. Laid off by Vasquez. Ball through for Busio. Busio cutback ball for Cowell. Kyle shown yellow for that tackle. Just trying to get to the ball. First yellow issued to a U.S. player tonight. Comes in the 96th minute. Schaffelberg. Racing by Reynolds. Schaffelberg put it up for Russell Rowe. Never got there. Ferreira.
It's had all the makings of one goal will be enough tonight. The handball in stoppage time ensured that we would continue. Osorio, Russell Rowe, just got by Ferreira, Miller. Forward from Morris, back through Reynolds, seeking Cowell. Cowell off the turn. Picked up by Jones, it's Cowell. Cowell, oh, he kept the ball. Corner. There's ingenuity involved for sure. But this man was straddling a canyon and still came away with the ball. All eyes on Long, Miazga, Ferreira, Vasquez. It's Busio. Had the run of Miazga, just overshot him. Jones, Busio came back on side. He settles, delivers, Miazga! St. Clair. Canada's run out, snuffed out. Morris, Vasquez. Sands. Miazga. Long. Jones. Drawing Canada out. Miazga. Reynolds. Thanks off of Schaffelberg. Initially on loan from Toronto, they did, in fact, not only buy, but extend Schaffelberg out through 2027. Reynolds, Vasquez dips in front of Vittoria. Vasquez inside to Morris. And Vittoria steps in the way. Sands trying to rip it away from Russell Rowe. Russell Rowe. Denied by Reynolds. Vasquez. Frazier this time. There's no foul, it's Vasquez. Vasquez. He used to travel three to four hours over the border from Chula Vista, train at Tijuana. Ended up in Atlanta, never quite caught on, but he's come here to Cincinnati, remade his career. Busio, always oh, found Cowell. Busio making the central run, Cowell kept it alive. Vasquez for Jones. Jones, what a ball! Busio went up for it, who got it last? Crowd applauds a corner. There it is off Vittoria. Another three and a half minutes, and they'll switch sides. Vasquez in the 88, Vittoria at the spot in the third minute of second half stoppage. 1-1. One, one. There's the service, bounces away from Miazga with a header, spearing it out toward Reynolds. Ball launched across for Morris. Another header into the box, this time a push from behind of Long. Can Larea take over? No, it slid ahead. Reynolds didn't combine with Morris. K 
Canada extend forward. Brim found Schaffelberg. Miazga. That's a physical challenge. Ferreira leading Cowell. Cowell cut back. Cowell deflects for a corner. a sense of anticipation, of nerves. Two minutes remaining before the end of the first period of extra time. Is there magic in the air tonight? Busio curling, header, oh! St. Clair to the rescue! That is incredible stuff for Canada. It was nearly Miazga. What a dynamite run in St. Clair. Elevates. Gianluca Busio, Kennedy, Reynolds, Busio again. There should be hardly any extra time. Vasquez. Sure, but he has never been a head coach at any level. Here he is leading U.S. side favorites to win the Gold Cup at the quarterfinals. That's satisfactory for Marco Ortiz, and it's on to the second period of extra time. Vasquez put the U.S. ahead. Steven Vittoria pulled Kennedy on level terms. And Canada will try and steal this here. The U.S. will try and advance against their rival to the north. End of the first period of extra time. USA 1, Canada 1.
Welcome to the moments where your brain doesn't work anymore. It's merely your heart that beats and it courses through your veins. The second period of extra time, it's only adrenaline that keeps you moving now if you've gone the full 105. USA 1, Canada 1. 15 minutes to decide a winner, a semi-finalist for San Diego. Or we'll do it from the spot. Canada looked to go to back-to-back -back semifinals. They had not reached that point since 2007, a 14-year wait. By just escaping their group, ended up seeing USA in the quarters. United States, the reigning champion. It could all be over in a matter of minutes. Reynolds. Early ball, header over. Busio is there! Big rebound off of St. Clair and cleared by Canada. What a delightful bounce that was for Gianluca Busio. And St. Clair got his palm stung, but it's not enough. Jones got his man in the air. Jones crossing. It's too far out in front of Morris. And these sides appear poised to throw real punches here in extra time, not merely guide this into penalties. Seventeen shots to five in favor of the U.S. They have more of the ball, more of the chances. Scoreline is equivalent. Wrestled away by Reynolds. Field from Frazier. Schaffelberg runs onto it. He's got Russell Rowe. He'll go about it himself. Oh, what a goal! Schaffelberg, that is a stunner! What a showstopper! for Canada! Wow! The Canadians lead for the first time tonight! Where in the world did that come from? Flying in on Miazga, the angle tightening. And he twists this into side netting. What an unbelievable effort. A deflection off the heel of Miazga aids. And Turner finally beaten. Just out of his grasp. And Canada have turned this whole thing around. It's in the 109th minute. Vasquez tried to bring it down there, St. Clair. The 26 year old will take every second he can.
Back from Miazga, Turner, Reynolds. Ferreira, no further. Schaffelberg lined up now to be the hero. Osorio. It's not that Canada hadn't beaten the U.S. They have, and in some big games, World Cup qualifying, strong performances throughout to win the octagonal. But this feels different. This one's a knockout. The U.S. just beat them three weeks ago in the Nations League final. Jones, in doing so, it ended the career of the most decorated men's national team player in Canadian history, Atiba Hutchinson. In some way, you'd imagine this one would be for him as well. Miazga trying to set the U.S. attack. They've got 10 minutes to try and change this narrative. Aaron Long, Matt Miazga. Reynolds. There's the ball into the pocket. Sands. He was demurred for a moment. Cowell. Cowell crossing over Vasquez. Miller got a piece. Hitter Busio. Over the bar. are going to make their one final change. Christian Roldan for Brian Reynolds. Get another attacking player in and replace their beleaguered outside back who goes 112 minutes. Sands. Morris held off by Kennedy. Larea puts it out for a corner. Seven minutes remaining. Schaffelberg in the 109th. Canada get a penalty. Halfway through stoppage time, a handball by Miles Robinson convert to equalize after Brandon Vasquez delighted his hometown crowd. The ball across, the header away. That's Jones. It's Busio. Turner all the way forward. Picked out his mark, header across. Ball bouncing down, Busio! Oh, it's over the line! The deflection! The U.S. are level! Karam's off of Kennedy! It's even again! When it all seemed lost, Turner pumps it forward. Morris nods it down. And the clearance by St. Clair off of Kennedy and over the line. And the mission to repeat in both continental tournaments is still on for the U.S. Down goes Russell Rowe, picked back up by the U.S. That's Jordan Morris chugging forward. Schaffelberg took it away. 
Back heel toward Watherspoon, taken by Busio, but Watherspoon is there again on the clearance by Jones. Lorea, Jones. This is one of the better Gold Cup knockout games we've seen in a long, long time. In part because it's a series of such odd goals. Thrown into the penalty area. Turner siphons it off. Turner launches forward. Kamal Miller under pressure, snaps it back. Cowell, Ferreira. Back to Cowell. Was looking for Vasquez. And this stadium might have fallen right off of its bearings. Rolled on. Rolled on. Kamal Miller recovers again. Return from Sands. Rolled on. Corner. Three and a half minutes to go. A handball, an own goal, a deflected shot from a player hardly in the national team set up at all. This night has defied logic since about the 85th minute of play. To this point, both sides have gotten exactly what they needed. Ferreira, header wide. Who got that last? It's Watherspoon or else Vasquez is burying this. It was a great ball by Ferreira. He'll get another chance. TQL Stadium is a powder keg now. Ferreira offers. First ball's away. Headed down by Jones. Ferreira there again. Another set piece. Kicked away by Russell Rowe. Is there a winner for the U.S. tonight? Ferreira bounces away, nearly shifted on goal by Morris. Roldan runs by the challenge. He drives the service off the head of Frazier. Now Canada their chance, fanning out. Russell Rowe pushed off the ball by Sands. May just be 90 seconds to penalties now. Cowell, foul by Charles Andreas Brim. Far and away, the best of the four quarterfinals. This has been remarkable drama. Canada led in extra time. Jesus Ferreira, a chance to sprinkle a little fairy dust over this game. Will Vasquez be his target once more? The waning seconds of extra time. Is there magic in the Queen City tonight? Ferreira hangs it up. St. Clair totally upended by Miazga. The players for Canada are incensed. Miazga has shown a yellow card. And he may have let an Aaron Elbow get up along the way too.
Take a look at this. Previous effort, and then he goes into Larea. We're into extra time, and added time of that. And that's it. The USA and Canada exchange blows time and time again, and they're going to penalties for a place in the Gold Cup semifinal. In some ways, this was written in the stars, wasn't it? Vittoria and Schaffelberg, Vasquez and the own goal by Kennedy. And somehow, it'll take spot kicks tonight. Off the penalties, USA 2, Canada 2. Whose moment is it tonight? B.J. Callahan speaking to his team. We own this stadium, he says. We own this moment. If you're Canadian or you're American, this feels predestined. If you're anybody else, this is merely just a great exhibition for the game. Victoria trying to clarify what he wants here. Turner is really frustrated. The coin flip's already gone awry. Victoria beat Turner on a penalty, leveled this match. Tempers have flared between these two teams. It hasn't always been that way. Anywho. <laughs> uh, never fails. On to the fun part. Early in Dane St. Clair's MLS career, he was as good a shot stopper on penalties as you'd find. He saved the first four he ever saw. He has since conceded the last seven he has seen, including a pair in this Gold Cup to Cuba. Turner has seen two in this Gold Cup. He saved one from Leon Bailey. Vittoria beat him once as well. Victoria and Turner apparently now satisfied. And here we go.
Vittoria took a penalty about 40 minutes ago. It was the third minute of stoppage time to equalize. He went right down the middle. Turner in his career now has saved 11 of 25. As a professional and on the international stage. Players say, hey, we're already here. Typically, you'll see him behind the halfway line. This is a, a genuine showdown. <laughs> they'll walk back in unison, the crowd applauding this. Oh, wow. They literally will not give an inch tonight. We've waited long enough. the crown tonight in the Queen City. Steven Vittori up, went right down the middle to equalize the end of the second half. Matt Turner, the Gold Cup hero of 2021, tries to keep the U.S. in the tournament. To start the shootout, it is Vittoria. And it's Turner making the save. Matt Turner seated no ground. Vittoria denied the big outstretched palm. Brandon Vasquez. He scored to put the U.S. ahead in the 88th minute. This city adores him. The ground he walks on, sacred. It turned his whole career around. FCC, they chant. The acronym for FC Cincinnati club that Vasquez has called home. Vasquez to put the U.S. ahead in the first round of penalties. Vasquez, no! Into the stands! One round complete, nothing yet. This is Liam Frazier. He has never scored for the national team. Came through Toronto, eventually Columbus, now featuring in Belgium in the second division. Can he put Canada ahead for the moment? Frazier. Oh, Turner did it again! He will not be denied tonight. He had it read all the way. Matt Turner, a penalty specialist, lives up to the billing. Cade Cowell. He told the world he arrived at the under-20 World Cup. To put the United States ahead in the second round, 
Cowell scores. That's a merciless penalty from Kate Cowell. Kamal Miller, he has never scored for his national team. And maybe just a month, perhaps less, be teammates with Messi. Right now, he's trying to maintain Canada's place at this Gold Cup. Kamal Miller got it just over Turner who had it read dead to rights. What a pen by Kamal Miller. It would have been a very faint pulse for Canada if Turner gets his hand on that. Jean-Luc Abusio. A 21-year-old from North Carolina. He features at Venezia in Italy. With a calm look of determination. Busio delivers a gorgeous penalty past St. Clair. 2-1 USA. have gone to penalties five times, but not since 2015. They've won three, lost two. Canada's been there twice. They lost the 0-2 semifinal to the U.S. They won the quarterfinal in 2002. Canada need this one, and they need it desperately. Russell Rowe sent Turner the wrong way. A save here for Canada, and it's back to square one, and it's suddenly sudden death. The U.S. score, they would be on the verge. Jesus Ferreira has scored six goals at this tournament, two hat tricks. He is the CONCACAF killer. He has a chance to be a Canada killer now. Ferreira, all off the hands of St. Clair and in. And it comes down to one. St. Clair, full extension. It looked like he could have gotten there. Off his hand and in. And it comes down to Brim. It'll be pandemonium if Turner makes that one final save. Score, Canada are alive. Miss, the U.S. are going to San Diego to see Panama. It's Brim. Off the crossbar and out. It's over. The United States moving on to the semifinal. Two Turner saves off the crossbar. An emotional moment for Matt Turner. And the United States outlast Canada. An own goal in the 114th minute gave them a lifeline. They led the 88th because of that man, but they're moving on because of this one. Brim off the crossbar. 
Turner held onto the line just long enough. And Brim, the 24-year-old native Frenchman, bangs it off the woodwork. And Matt Turner and the U.S. survive their rival to the north, unbeaten still against Canada, with an unbeaten caretaker manager still through six games. Panama await in San Diego at full time. USA 2, Canada 2. And in penalties, the United States advance 3-2.